Hello and welcome. I just got this in the mail today. Thought I would uh, share with you my experiences with this. Piece of uh, 1990s gear. It's a uh, audio filter and my intention was using it for cleaning up when I'm uh, chasing DX uh, filtering out uh, QRM and zeroing in on the operator instead of the noise. So uh, I got this from a uh, estate sale in Alaska. I was able to get it for $20. Good deal. I did buy it sight unseen. So this is the first time I'm seeing it and I see I got some extra performance holes uh, up top there. little bit of uh, scratch marks on the uh, control switch. I'm more interested in performance and what's on the inside. So it's a little dirty. It's not really much to it. You plug this in, in uh, to the uh, speaker out. And then from here you go to your speaker. So this guy has a bunch of uh, op amps in there and uh, quite a bit of filtering goes on as, as you saw with the controls up front. There's quite a bit of fiddling you can go with. So it does have its own built-in uh, power supply and you can run it off 12 volts if you get inside there. I've done a little research on it. So first off, you know what? I hate touching uh, any of this gear. I don't know where it's been or you know who's handled it. Uh, I want to clean this up and uh, pull the covers on it and let's take a look inside. Okay, I couldn't resist. I had to pull the cover off right away. So looking inside, you know what? One thing I noticed was the uh, the heftiness of this. It's got a little bit of weight to it. So I guess it's probably uh, more just the uh, you know the the case itself. It's uh, I guess I'm just not used to that, buying anything new today. It's just all plastic and lightweight and cheap as possible. So uh, there's definitely some weight to this unit. Although, looking inside there, a little bit of uh, IC technology. Got uh, three chips, one right down there, below there. So I have seen uh, some uh, evaluation reports on EHAM and the EHAM, and uh, they highly rate this unit. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, using it. Although uh, what I want to do is I want to take these plugs off and uh, use a 3.5 millimeter mono. Same thing with that one. I want to take that out. I don't want those big plugs because. I am prepared, so I have my jack, 3.5 millimeter. I've got my plug, 3.5 millimeter, and also I have a little uh, LED light. Although this is a uh, 120, I think that's 120. I'll have to confirm that. That's pretty solid wire. Oh yes, that is correct. This is, I was looking at the schematic earlier, and uh, this is wired uh, right after the transformers. So that's a 125 volt switch right here. So I could easily, without having to uh, hack and drill any more holes, which wouldn't be a problem either, I could get a lighted switch that would just go in there. Maybe uh, three or four dollars to have a lighted switch, or I can use my uh, LED here and uh, I have seen some ugly installations of uh, somebody putting it right in the center there because I guess that was the uh, obvious place but I would figure just put it right here above the switch. So I have a couple things there to uh, think about. Not that important. But as you can see, whenever I get something, I'm ready 
planning and scheming what I can do. But I noticed on this transformer here, these uh, nut and bolt combinations here is rather loose. Hopefully that, I think we haven't uh, got anything damaged there. Anyways, that is my uh, little inspection on this Autech Research SSB CW AM filter. My intentions are to be using it just on SSB. No CW here, unfortunately, that I'll be able to give you any reports on. There you have it. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.